Let us now pray together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and or unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now it's time for our prayers. Give me our hearts and minds open. Let us pray to the Lord. Responding on Trinity Sunday, help us to know you more. Let us pray to the Father in the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus, his Son. We pray today for all theologians, all ministers, in particular our parish priest, Archdeacon Father Rawlins, for our bishop, and for those who teach the faith in all colleges, Bible study groups, and throughout the church. We pray for godly wisdom and human insight. Holy God, help us to know you more. We pray for peace and cooperation, harmony and mutual respect in our dealings with one another, locally, nationally and internationally. And particularly on this day, pay, pray for peace in Ukraine. Holy God, help us to know you more. We pray, for, we pray for those who depend on us and those on whom we depend for our physical and spiritual needs. Enable us to honour one another as children of your making. Holy God, help us to know you more. We pray for those who right now feel fragmented and for those forced to live apart from loved ones through war, political unrest, natural disasters or poverty. Lord, we commend their pain to your comforting. Holy God, help us to know you more. Lord, remember on this day those who told of us throughout their worlds and lives. We think of those who have died in faith and we ask that we may share with them in the joy of your presence forever. Holy God, help us to know you more. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. An act of penitence, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, 
forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we, are, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace.